Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at multiple choice questions from physics and maths. And there's a question about magnetic flux. This question was also part of NEAT exam in 2023 in the physics section A. Now the question is the net magnetic flux through any closed surface is and the options are infinity, negative, zero and positive. Do you know the answer? If you know it, you can mark it and cross check it with the answer that will be given in a couple of minutes. If you don't know the answer and especially if you don't know the concept of magnetic flux, don't worry. I'll just talk to you about it. So flux is a term which is related to flow. And when we talk about flux in a, the context of a field, we are talking about number of field lines or lines of force. Of course, these are imaginary. They don't exist for real. But when you want to talk about a field, it's talked in terms of flux or in terms of field lines passing through a given area. And here, the density of these field lines is going to determine the field strength. Or in other words, the density is going to be proportional to the field strength. So if the density is high, that means the field is strong. And if the density is low, that means the field is weak. Now, if you want to change the flux, you can change it in different ways. First is you can increase the field strength. And second way is you can increase the surface area. And the third way is you can change the angle at which the field lines are passing through the surface. So this also gives you some idea about the mathematical expression that will be there for flux. So flux can be written as B A cos theta, where B comes from the magnetic field, A comes from the area and in the term cos theta, theta is the angle at which the field lines are passing through the surface. So depending on the magnitudes of magnetic field as well as area and also depending on the angle, the flux would be determined. Now if you are talking about the angle, if the angle was zero, that means the magnetic field is parallel to the normal vector corresponding to area then you would have maximum flux whereas if they were perpendicular that is if the angle was 90 degree the flux would be zero now you know that b a cos theta reminds you of dot product of vectors and here if you consider b as a vector and a as a vector which they are that then you will be able to write this as b bar dot da bar. Now here we are talking about flux corresponding to a closed surface. So here the closed integral needs to be used. So the flux which right now here we have shown it by phi can be written as integral closed integral of b bar dot d a bar. Now when you are saying closed integral, so basically the idea is since the surface is closed that means all the field lines which are entering the surface are coming back to the surface or in other words field lines entering the surface is equal to the field lines leaving the surface. So when this happens obviously flux is zero. So you can imagine a simple analogy that you, if you see some people coming out of a room, you close your eyes and the people have gone back to the room. When you open them, you see that the number of people in the room are the same. Because basically, whoever left has entered back. And this is the idea when you talk, talk, talk about a closed surface. So here the answer is option number three. The net magnetic flux through any closed surface is zero. Thank you.